I think two things are next. Um, one is, it's just the capitalist ethic. You always want to make more money, and in order to make more money, you got to promote. So I think there'll always be aggregators because you, you simply, it's hard to just make a business out of one program. Um, but you can make a big business out of owning a lot of them and leveraging them and creating an audience and a marketing platform for it. So I, I think that's just part of human behavior. That will always happen. I think one of the things I find really fascinating, though, because we mentioned whether it's the people who are inside the TV or you know whether it's Samsung or Roku, I, I think inevitably physical devices just disappear because they're a big pain. And things can live on the cloud better and, and more cheaply. I think the winners are whoever's going to control that operating system and intelligence set. Because pretty much until now or recently, no one even would associate, what do you mean, operate, you know, a, an operating system for a TV set? There's no such things. But, but someone's going to win that. And it seems to me that Google and Amazon are ahead of everyone. And it seems surprising to me that Windows and Apple really don't have a leading edge. And I think that may wind up being a bigger business than the PC business ever was. Whoever is owning those operating systems and all of those televisions and all of those screens that are in every facet of our lives now. Yes, in the back. Leverage to um, become a have rather than a have not in that situation. How do you get to and how do you have people find you essentially, right? Yeah. <clears throat> any any advice, Steve? <laughs> uh, well, there's really no good answer to be honest. Um, <laughs> It's really hard, and one of the best things you can do as an independent creator uh, is something that we did for many, many years, was to just slog it out uh, on, on YouTube and on these other UGC type of platforms and stand out from the crowd and then convince some of these uh, more established traditional players that you are a must carry. Uh, and that's, that's a long process and it's difficult to do, so I, I'm not gonna pretend that it's not. Uh, but you just have to create content that somehow stands out from the crowd. Um, so good luck with that. I, I wish you the best. Yeah. And for every story out there, let's remember um, last year's Oscar winner was Moonlight. It was purchased for $1.6 million, I think, and you know, won the Oscar and went on to have big box office. So keep up the hope. <laughs>